Hi, beautiful. <coughs> <coughs> Today is gonna be an informational learning, informational learning, learning type of informational video. So I hope you like those kinds of videos. I think that you do, as they seem to be the most popular videos on my channel. So, whoa, 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 whoa. The rest of this year is gonna be the year of learning, and next year is gonna be the year of more learning. And today we're gonna learn more things. Feels the best when your mind is growing. Nobody ever said that to me, but I feel like it's true. My mind is so powerful, okay? I was going through my closet yesterday and I found a microscope. Listen, I find a lot of interesting things in my closet and I keep them around for these occasions because I know I'm gonna one day be like, I need a microscope. Well, I wasn't like, I need a microscope, but I found the microscope and I found a way to use it. So I have it. I took a video of my scalp. Okay, so as you can see, my hair is freshly done and it looks so... <clears throat> and I found some interesting things going on. And if you've never seen a scalp or a hair under a microscope, Get ready to be in shock. It's cool. It's really cool. So today I am gonna go over hair theory and how it works when you bleach your hair. What's actually happening to your hair follicle when you lighten it and what's happening to your scalp health when you lighten it. And we're gonna go over some very high definition videos of my scalp under a microscope before and after. I bleach it. So it should be quite interesting to see what happens to it before and after. And I'll have a special guest today. Some of you guys know, some of you guys love, and we'll look at it together. Let's do this, shall we? Woo! <laughs> Okay, so let's explain this in an interesting manner that'll hopefully entertain you and won't make you bored. The most common agent that bleaches your hair, lightens it, performs the process of lightening is hydrogen peroxide, which you guys might know. And no, a hydrogen peroxide that you buy at, um, in the, you know, cut department, whatever you call that department, I don't know, in the pharmacy, like you get a cut and you put hydrogen peroxide on it. Do people do that? Do I look like a mother to you? I don't know what I'm talking about, okay? But they do that, okay? This is in the brown bottle, it's hydrogen peroxide. That's not the same thing as lighteners, hydrogen peroxide, the stuff you use to lighten your hair. It's different, okay? So don't try and put hydrogen peroxide on your head. It's not gonna work. I've tried it. Not on my hair, but on a mannequin's hair for an experiment and it didn't work. I was gonna make a video about it, but I ended up not making a video about it. It doesn't work. I'm glad we got that out of the way and let's move on. What first happens when your hair is lightening is your hair strand swells. The hydrogen peroxide swells the hair strand. Which is why maybe if you've gotten your hair lightened or bleached, it appears to be more voluminous after you lighten it. I know mine definitely feels more voluminous and thicker after I um, lighten it. And that is why, because it swells the hair cuticle. And actually opening up the hair cuticle roughs it up inside, which can actually make your hair thicker. Kind of cool. So as the hair fiber spreads open. It actually invites its good friend, a little mating call, brings it right into the cuticle. And that's what brings in the oxidative agents that actually then work inside the hair cuticle, removing all of the natural hair pigment that is in there, which is also known as melanin, which makes up your skin color, hair color, all those kinds of colors. And some of us may know from doing our own hair or getting our hair done, hair lightens gradually, not all at once. You're gonna start to see certain colors lift out first. So usually dark, dark hair is made up by all of the different colors on the color wheel. You might not see any real visual cue that it's lightening until you get to the, about the red stage. So it's lifted out all those other pigments out. And now we are seeing red. And after red, we go to orange. And after orange, we go to yellow. And after yellow, we go to pale yellow. And it pretty much stops there. And that's when you get that platinum gorgeous tone. And then you can kind of tone it after to make it more silver or more white or whatever you have it or whatever you want to do to your hair. Make it maybe purple, maybe do whatever, whatever, whatever. But it lightens gradually in steps. It is not a one, two, three, we're done kind of process. So always have patience when you lighten your hair, okay? Then you have a 10, 20, 30, 40 developer, typically in America. And outside of America, there's stuff that I've heard of like 100 volume developer. No, thank you. We're gonna leave it there. I'm gonna leave it in other countries, okay? I'm not bringing that to America. I don't know, it's just scary, okay? That is just how fast the lightening process is gonna happen. So you go with 10 volume, it's gonna be a very slow lightening process. And there's different reasons why you would choose 10 volume or 40 volume or anything in between based on the person's hair, based on the person's hair texture, based on their previous lightening experiences, based on their uh, pre-existing pigment in their hair, based on what their current hair color is. If you have a person that's blonde and you're trying to make them 
blonder to platinum, you're not gonna wanna use 40 volume because their hair will snap off. So there's all different ways of using developer and reasons for using certain developers against other developers, but a higher developer number will open that cuticle faster, swell it and get in there and take all the pigment out faster. That's the reason why there are different developers. Sometimes hair can also change. Maybe we'll see this under a microscope, but hair can also change in the way that it can be actually more manageable for people because when you have super silky smooth hair, like I know I do naturally, sometimes you need something to rough up your cuticle. As us hairstylists say it, it makes the hair on the outer edges kind of fray out and you see it at a microscopic level, which actually makes it easier to style, easier to give yourself volume, easier to tease your hair, easier to blow it out because it has little shingles that can lay on each other and interlink like Lego piece in order for the hair fibers to stay up and it gives something to, for it to kind of balance on instead of it being slippery, like a slip and slide and just the volume just depletes. Hope that kind of makes sense. Take that or leave that. So a lot of people ask me, Brad, how the F do you get your hair so light? There's a lot of reasons why my hair is so light, okay? And one main reason is because I have fine hair. Fine hair always lightens easier than coarse, thick hair. It doesn't have as much cuticle to go through in order to get to the cortex. So that's why fine hair lightens easier and faster. Sometimes you can't even get coarse, thick hair as light as this. Like sometimes it's not possible. And that's probably why is because it takes so much lightener to get really deep in there and by the the time you add all that lightener to the hair, it ends up snapping because you're expanding that hair fiber so much that it gets really stressed out and it kind of snaps. And the bonds keeping it together just end up breaking. And that is why you get split ends. That is why you get your hair broken. Oh, 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 oh. <gasps> okay, now you know the basics of bleaching hair and what happens and how it happens and what kind of goes on. So I'm gonna bring in my friend now and we're gonna look at my hair before I lightened it today and after. I did it. And we're gonna see what the hell is going on. I can't wait to see what it looks like now. I haven't looked at it under a microscope. I'm gonna wait till he gets here to see what happens and to see what happened to my hair. It might look healthier, it might look less healthy. Probably less healthy, but we shall see. We used a lot of bond building agents when doing my hair today. So who knows? We don't know yet. What is this? Oh, uh, it's a giveaway. We're giving away all of this. Whoa. Well, why don't we look through it real quick? We have a flat iron. We have a Pat McGrath PR box that I got a multiple of. So I was like, why not give it away? Oh, Pat, she's a kind lady. Ah! A shadow palette, two lipsticks, some, you know, you get it, okay? I just ruined the box, but there's a lot of fun stuff in here. This is her new palette, Nocturnal Nirvana. It's really pretty. I'm gonna put that back together. Crave hair color. Uh, these are super fun. We have palette on palette on palette on palette. We have Bare Minerals highlighters. Oh my God, this stuff's amazing. Benefit High Beam. We have setting powder. Okay, you get the point. Oh, and you have, of course, my products, Glitterati and Project X in the giveaway because like, why not? Anyways, you guys know the deal. I always do these things. I'll be entered into winning all these amazing products. It's going to one person, okay? There's a lot of stuff to one person. You even got care stuff here. Ooh. This is going to one whole person. All you gotta do is Follow Xmondo, my hair care brand, on Instagram and follow me, Rabmondo NYC on Instagram, and just show your love in any which way. Like the pictures, make it known that you're in the giveaway, and I'll be picking one of you on October 31st to be the winner of all this stuff. And the way you'll find out if you win is on my Instagram story on that day. So make sure you check it. A lot of people get confused, like, did I win? Did I not win? Most likely, if you didn't hear from me, you didn't win. But it's on my Instagram story. It's I always post it, okay? Don't come at me if you missed it. All right. That's that. If you want to win this stuff, get to it. You have a week. All right, let me move all this stuff and then let's get back to what we were doing. <laughs> let's bring Miss Robert in. Hi, baby. Hi, Welcome darling. back. Mwah. Oh, thank you Mwah. for having me. I missed you. I missed you too. I saw you white last night. Yeah. Oh, baby <laughs> cakes. Oh, my little, my little. Uh, if you guys don't know Robert already, he's been in a few videos of mine. He is my hairstylist extraordinaire, BFF forever, and um, also my boyfriend sometimes online. You know, every <laughs> once in a while. Let's watch the first video though, my scalp and my hair strand before coloring it. This should be interesting. It's not the prettiest graphic you've ever seen. If you've never seen a scalp up close, it's not that cute. Oh, okay. okay. Oh, wow, okay. So here is your beautiful My scalp. scalp. It is quite white. Mm -hmm. Really, really healthy follicles is Honestly, all that I'm seeing. Yeah. I'm just saying. She's healthy. She looks kind of cute. She does. 
Let's go back on that one. She's good for you. I don't see any irritation. There's no flakes. It doesn't even There's look dry. No, it doesn't look dry at all. You can see a little bit of product just kind of like on the hair strand, but. You know what that is? What is that? It's Project X. Project X. <laughs> it's glitterati. So now we're getting into my hair strands a bit. What do you think? I love this too because it really shows the level of your hair. Isn't it funny how there's dark pieces mm -hmm. and light pieces, but these are all my roots right now we're seeing. My hair strands look to me like there's not too much like scaling on them. They don't look porous. Not, mm, no, you have a really healthy cuticle. You can really tell that the hair strand's really nice and smooth, which means all of those like shingle-like pieces on your hair aren't completely blown out, which just means your hair's really nice and healthy. And these are also my roots, and mm -hmm. so these are not colored. Exactly. And so we'll see the difference after. I haven't seen the difference yet. Waiting to see with you guys. Okay, so now we're getting into the blonde bits. Ooh. And you can <gasps> see that variation. Whoa, that's crazy. You guys you guys can see how the pigment in my hair goes see-through. Like, the pigment is no longer there compared to the hair behind the blonde platinum hair. It's She's pretty, been erased. Isn't that cool? It's amazing. You can see that it's kind of hollow. Mm -hmm. I like how you can see the different variations of coloring. Mm -hmm. So it's cool that there's like black pieces going through, but then there's also that light brown. Yeah. Do you think that means my hair color is changing or do you think that everybody just has that? I feel like everyone has a little bit of variation in their hair because I have clients, the back part of their hair is much lighter or darker rather uh, than the top part of their hair. Mm -hmm. But I guess in real life, it's kind of hard to see those like two pieces like this right. is only two pieces of my whole that whole section of my hair that are different colors so it's kind of cool though to know that there's like so much variation inside yeah, yeah, yeah. when you go deep down proud of you and your scalp help thank you mm -hmm. my hair is pretty light naturally huh it is yeah i mean because i've always really said that you fall into like a true seven it just always looks a little bit darker you hear that ladies my true seven she's a seven. <gasps> Ooh, is that a little scalp is that flake a, is that a scalp is that flake? A flake oh my oh. god we have a flake <sighs> It doesn't look bad. You can definitely see a bit more of like texture. Yeah, texture on the on the outer parts of it. The cuticle is definitely like a little bit raised. It's not gnarly. Right. It's not like completely blown apart. You can definitely see that it's drier than my natural hair. Mm-hmm. And the cuticle is a bit more raised. Totally. This is fascinating. Yeah, right? I am so excited to see what it looks like now. Me too, I can't wait for that. They look like icicles. They do look like icicles. <laughs> Dude, this is so cool. This is like such an awesome way to kind of display how lightener just really goes into the hair and erases all of that mel like natural melanin in, mm -hmm. in your hair. And like, this is a really, really great example of seeing that. And I love the kind of like side by side too. What was that? No, go back. Just... <gasps> is that a string? Oh, we found a little <laughs> string. <laughs> this is a string. Wait, is a string thinner than a hair fiber? Cause that's like three times thinner than the hair fiber. Totally. I would Like a string from your shirt. No, no that has thicker. to be something else. Like a dead piece of hair <gasps> that's been like fried. Maybe it's, no, no, because it's dark. I don't a know split what... end, it's a split end. Do you think it is? I really think that could be a split end. I'm pretty sure these are dead hair fibers like on my scalp, mm -hmm. like short pieces on my hairline right there. And I always like pull on this part. Like, I don't know why I love like twisting my you hair. You always touch that I part. always twist my hair right here. Cause it's always like in my eyes and I'm always just like playing with it. So I think I like break off pieces sometimes and that's kind of what we're seeing here. Then it's like also in, like these dots. I want to know what those dots those are. Those are definitely like old hair. I feel like, follicles. because it looks exactly yeah. like this follicle with the hair coming out right here. Yeah. All right. So now that we've done that, let's see what my hair looks like now. Ah! Okay, let's That's do it. That's the juicy part. The juicy. Juice, 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 juice. I'm excited about this. Whoa! Whoa. No, wait. Oh my God. That's so weird. <gasps> wait, Oh stay there. my God. So this is what bleached hair, right? Okay, we did this, my hair, we stopped like half an hour ago. And you can see that it doesn't fully cover the actual like root. Yeah. I mean, obviously it didn't quit in my scalp, but you can see like, there's a little bit of a bulb of brown on there. Uh-huh. I didn't know that. Because a lot of clients say they wake up the next day with like, you know, salt and pepper roots. Oh, I always that? wake up with a root the next day. Look at that. That's amazing. Also, look how healthy my hair looks at the bottom. Seriously. There's not one like raised cuticle. 
You're welcome. Wow. Um, wow. And so, guys, we did use Olaplex. What's that? I think that's a piece of hair that got cut. Oh, maybe. Why would it be dark? Whoa. I don't know. Because it's like, that's connected to your hair strand. This is insane. Whoa. What is that? Are those pieces of hair? Oh, that's how sure we cut my hair. That's probably um, where the shave part is. So we did this kind of like line, as you can see. And this is what it looks like. He took a razor and shaved it. I literally had a straight razor and I like etched out the outline. It's so weird that the root, like very, very root, doesn't get colored. Can we talk about how like sparkly and glossy your scalp is? I know. It it's like looks so clean. much more textured yeah. than before. It looks much tighter. Like it's definitely drier mm -hmm. and has no oil on it. Like, look, I'm like moving it around and it's like. There's nut. Yeah. This thing is dry. Look at how it's cut. Wow, look at the texture. So it definitely has a few more raised bumps on the side than before, I feel like. Yeah, definitely. It looks stripped, but it doesn't look irritated. It's wild that it's see-through. Okay, you can also see the variations of color. Mm -hmm. So some parts are like really white, gray, and then some parts are still a little bit yellow. Cause you're never gonna get like a solid one perfect color. Like there's always gonna be a variation of colors. Mm -hmm. So it's cool to see that up close. Wow. It looks healthier. So healthy. What is that? Oh my God. That little yellow right I'm there. Sorry, oh, I'm she ripped, shook, right shook it. Why does it look like so perfect? It looks like ribbons. Like plastic. Ribbon. Why are they all formed so perfectly? It's see-through. You can literally see through mm -hmm. this one to the back, like the darker the, pieces. The shadow, yeah. What? <gasps> ah! <laughs> you know what that is? That was that's a, pomade. That's pomade. That was the most satisfying thing I've ever seen in my entire life. Two hairs, singular hairs, ever. just pulled <laughs> apart. Look at the product on that hair. Oh my god, so much drier. So much drier. Look at that split end. That one? No, the one beside <gasps> it. Right there? Yeah. Ooh, that's a good one. I feel like we're looking at like industrial supplies. That's, that's gorgeous. That's where you cut it off. Look at how Ooh. sharp that cut is. Honey, that's what sharp scissors will do. That's where my, my thickest hair is. I always knew, like noticed that. That's why I wanted to look here. Oh my look God. Look at that. Oh, my scalp looks interesting. All right, so while we're at it, we might as well look at Robert's hair too. Yes, all right. So, so you have a very pale scalp. Wow. She's very white. Very healthy, very moisturized. <gasps> wow. Look how much oil there is. Honey, she's shiny. Look how thin. <gasps> ah! Oh my God, those are two. Wow. Look at that split end. Look how crazy that like gnarly little curl is. That's so weird. The split ends are nuts. Seriously. <gasps> Look at There's that. another one. Why are they Wait, black? No. Why are they always black though? Is that a, is it? I think it is. Cause that's what it looks like everywhere else. I love that you can even see the difference in tone. Look, that's another one right there. Uh-huh. Oh, is that a little dry <laughs> place? Oh, wait, or is that product? Could that be product? I have so much shit in my hair right now. Jesus, what is that? Oh, look at the flake. Oh, she's beautiful. Okay, flaky. She is feeling <laughs> very illuminated right now. Whoa. What is that? What is, oh my God, this scares me a little bit. So Robertina. Yeah. We can conclude now. We didn't find anything that miraculous. I mean, we kind of found everything that we thought, which was much. dryness. My scalp doesn't get that irritated from doing this stuff. Other people might have worse reactions, but my scalp's pretty used to it by now. Yeah, same. And honestly, some of my hair fibers looked actually healthier. We did use Olaplex. We did. I did a video about Olaplex. You guys know how I feel about Olaplex. So I said I was gonna look under a microscope at some point at my hair and I did it. And listen, I think it looks nice. And we also used a lot of conditioning products when we were doing my hair. I think it looks great. There's obviously a couple of split ends. There's some hair follicles that are raised a little bit more than before. That's just life though. Yeah, what do like, you think? Like we all have it. This was really interesting. It was really awesome to see this so up close and personal. As hairstylists, we're already really up close and personal mm -hmm. to your scalp, your hair. We kind of like know your biggest secrets and all that kind of stuff, but- um, All of them. All of them, honey, trust me. Mm -hmm. You know. Stuff we'd rather not know sometimes, but um. Actually, I really like knowing everything. These girls, <laughs> these girls share it all, honey. Now it's just kind of awesome to be able to have something to talk about with people about like what lightening your scalp actually does. I recommend every hairstylist takes a microscope like this 
to their head and looks at their own scalp because you can learn a lot about your hair. You really can. And it's super easy to do and it's very fascinating. I wish they did this in hair school. You know what? That would actually benefit a lot. Yeah. Because like I feel like we see in books all the time mm -hmm. like this is what a split in looks like. Right. This is what um, breakage looks like. But it's actually really awesome to see what it looks like on your friend's head, your head. But that was a cool experiment. I love my hair, by the way. Mm. It's gorgeous. Thanks, baby. You're so welcome. <laughs> R&B forever. Yes. <laughs> oh, and you guys, Robert starting a YouTube channel. So make sure you guys subscribe. He's linked below. Yes, ma'am. Um, what's the name of the channel? It's just me. It's Robert Bradley. Robert Bradley. Yes. It's linked below, obviously. And hopefully he'll upload soon. Mm -hmm. Yes. We a shall see. A video should be coming <laughs> very, very soon for you guys. So I'm really excited. And Let's follow him on Instagram. Follow me on Instagram. I'm going to my C. Robert Bradley hair, mm -hmm. X model hair. Mm -hmm. Don't forget about the giveaway I'm doing ends October 31st. So enter that. And that is all for today, guys. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for being here. Thank you for having me. Love you, baby. Love you too. And don't forget to live your extra life. Live it. <laughs> and I'll see you next time. Bye. Bye, guys.